Hey, welcome back guys and in the previous video we we have seen that you know how we can create a very good applications with angular dart now it's time to uh, deploy those applications and um, uh, as i already told you we will deploy it uh, using firebase so let's see how easy it is to deploy the application with firebase so um I, i'll, I'll uh, let you uh, go through with the firebase console so if i'll go console.firebase.google.com it will open that particular console which is which is uh, associated with my gmail id so as you can see we have i have here three projects firebase demo uh, flutter demo and inside this flutter demo i can add an app okay or in any project you can add an app and you have to select whether it will be ios android or web so we are uh, adding the web project so if you will click here then uh, you will get something like this okay and now what you have to do you have to basically um, add this particular piece of code to your web application and because it's uh, a written in uh, you can say javascript so you probably cannot directly add it but let's copy this script at least so so that we can add this particular piece of code for the time being so we will go back to uh, our index.html and we will add that code here to here this firebase firebase.js okay and then um, if you want to add this particular piece of code then how you can add it you'll go to pubspec.yml and uh, you will add the dependency here which is firebase and it should add it and let's go to here we can go to uh, pop dot artlang dot org here we can search for firebase and this is the web package let's click on web okay this is the only package and here you can see that uh, you know uh, if you want to use browser based application then you can use it or if you want to use it for dart vm even or for fushia then you will use something like this so we want to use it for um, browser application so let's copy this as well if you want to use the firestore then i mean you need to use it but otherwise you can skip it then you can see that how you can import it and all that stuff so once you are done with this then we will go to main.dart and here we can import firebase as let's say fb okay and we can say fb dot okay initialize app okay and inside that what you can do you can go back to your firebase console and you can copy all of these please don't uh, you know copy my api key because uh, you know it, although it's not it's just for demo purpose but still i don't want to hide it because i want to um have you the overall exact uh, thing which which you have to do rather than you know uh, blurring everything and then making it confused uh, conf ma making confusions for you i don't want that so this is what we have this is the api key and all that stuff and that's that's all what you need to do with your um firebase stuff and then you will go to your terminal and uh, you can write something like let me clear it and you can write npm install okay for global you can write this dash g and you can say firebase tools okay and you will press enter because i already have this so um it will install the firebase tool for me for using for the command line and then you can just search firebase version and it will show you the firebase version which is 6.3.1 and then you will write firebase login which will initiate your uh, uh, the login thing and it will ask you to uh, log in with your particular gmail id it will take you to that uh, browser and from here you can authenticate your login and when you are done with the login of the firebase then you have to go to your project root and here you have to write this is my root of the application and here i can write after doing all this stuff i can write firebase in it okay which means initialize firebase in this application and you can see this firebase logo it will ask which firebase cli feature do you want to set up for this folder okay so um here we have database firestore functions hosting storage we want to use hosting for the time being so i'll press spacebar here 
and it is selected and now uh, if you want to select firestore then also you can use it as well and you can override it uh, later as well and then i'll click enter now it will do something for me now it is saying that which uh, se select our default firebase project for this directory so let's say i for the time being i use something like this flutter demo again because i already used it though and then it is saying that what you do want to use as a public directory okay so as a public directory i don't want to use anything so <laughs> definitely I want to use something <laughs> so what we will do uh, whenever when you will build this project there will be a build folder which will be generated so I'm gonna give that folder link which is build okay and then it is saying that configure as a single page application rewriting all the URLs to index.html then I'll say no and uh, yes so initialization is complete and you can see we have this firebase.json where we can also specify the redirect urls and all that and uh, apart from that we have this particular firebase serc which is saying our project default and now you just have to write firebase deploy and it will deploy your app to firebase and it will show you a console let me just show you so what I am gonna do not gonna change anything here I'll show you my different project where I have already deployed so uh, I'll actually close this and I'll open this Pokedex and uh, here also you can see we have the same thing uh, we have this build folder where we have this uh, main.dart.js which is generated so I'll, I'll show you how to make this build folder and so first of all you can see we have this firebase.json although i have this firestore which you don't probably need so you will you will have something like this okay so uh, same thing let me repeat again so i'll say firebase init here it will ask me that you know what you want i'll say hosting oh i didn't select it so hosting and uh, public directory i'll say build then it will say rewrite rules no and it say that you know 404 html already exists do you want to override yes and they want to override yes and initialization is again complete and now you can see i have i have overridden it now if you let's say if you want to build this project then you will write web dev rather than serve you will say build and it will build the project for you it will create that build folder for you if you don't have that so right now i already have because i have um, already built this app earlier so once i am done with this it will take some time and let's see how much time it takes and uh, yeah it's 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 taking few seconds and it's very easy to deploy to firebase oh it's done now i can just say and if you check out this build folder then you'll see this main.dart.js okay because i already told you that everything will be compiled to javascript at the end and if you'll open it I, I cannot understand anything here because it's, it's too complicated for me and uh, probably for you as well and then we have this index.html same thing and then um, you just have to write firebase uh, firebase deploy okay and uh, then it will deploy this to your firebase application and deploying to firebase it will take few seconds again because i have a very um you can say slow internet connection that's why it's even that slow otherwise it's very fast process because you don't have right now very much files okay and it will also do the uh, minification when you will write web dev build so you don't have to worry about this as well so as you can see it, it is giving this project console as well as this hosting url if i'll click here then it will open my app and this is how my app looks like and oh it also have the same effect if i'll click here uh, it's, it's fine it looks kind of good so this is what uh, i wanted to show you one more thing which uh, i wanted to sh um, i wanted to show you earlier but could not show it because um because i changed my project but when when you will do, do this you will not probably see this screen why because there is a problem and i'll, I'll tell you what's the problem so let's say if you're not seeing this screen you will just see the loading uh, text and if when you will inspect it 
in the console you will see some error <coughs> regarding the platform version sorry so um what you need to do in that case is a little bit dif uh, different so um because of using this http library you will face those kind of issues so if i'll go here in the dart uh, publang then let's write http here so you will see if i'll open this package then you will see that you if you want to use on the browser then you have to do some different uh, like you have to use this browser client so um i'll ask you to go to this web dev dot uh, dartlang dot org here is in the advanced part you will see how to use http client so this is these are the changes which you need to do in your main dot dart so i'll show you how i did that so inside you may in the main dot dart you can see these two things add the rate generate injector and then i have injected something like this okay and uh, then i'm using browser client and in the services part uh, let me just show you lib pokemon service so here you can see that rather than http i'm using this client and using this client to get the request otherwise everything is same and i'm again using the dependency injection here to inject this client and uh, this is the thing which you need to do which you can follow on this particular uh, url here on the documentation and then your uh, http request will work so that's it that's how easy it is to deploy to firebase i'll make more videos on it very soon so thank you so much guys for watching it was a great experience with angular dart as well i'll make more videos on angular dart so if you like the video then press the like button and also subscribe to the channel and bye bye take care have fun